Now, there we go. All right, perfect. And hopefully everybody can see my screen. Everybody can see uh, the PowerPoint it says, having a good exit strategy for day trading. All right, good. All right, so listen, my name is Fausto Puglisi, cyber training founder of Cyber Training University. And I'd like to thank you guys for being here and taking the time out of your day, uh, you know, in the middle of the day. But you know what? At this time of the day, you shouldn't be trading. And that's why we do our events at this time of the day. Now, this is a live event. This is not no evergreen or anything else. Um, but uh, this is basically a time where some of you are here that are students of ours. And we're glad that you guys are here because we're always looking to recruit traders. I just want to give you guys a heads up that at the end of today's uh, event, at the, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm going to talk for about an hour. I'm going to teach you the art of trading, how things work, what we're doing, and everything else. And we're going to invite every one of you to come and join us in our trading room. Now, please keep in mind, trading is not for everybody, okay? And a lot of you really probably don't qualify to do it. And that's okay. You know, you'd rather know if it's for you or not than to go out there and start trading with real money and blowing up your account. Because that's what ends up happening. People go out there, they start trading, they try it. They say, ah, then let me learn. And, you know, I know a lot of us are pretty ignorant about it, but it's human nature that a lot of us do such a thing. So oh, thank God you guys uh, came here for today to listen in. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit about trading. So I'm just going to take about, about five minutes. I want to do a quick little intro. I want to talk about what we're going to learn. I'm going to talk a little about short squeezes. I'm going to talk about how to follow the smart money. I'm going to also talk about NASDAQ total view. Um, if some of you um, visit our website or you watch you know, the NASDAQ show, I'm a regular guest there. Something that they tr stress so hard for you traders to go out there and learn. I'm also going to tell you a little bit about how these orders get filled, high frequency trades, algorithms, how to rechart. Do you know that 80% of people recharts backwards? It's incredible. I'm going to, and it's not that you're just reading them backwards. You're making it more complicated than what it is. I'm going to teach you all that stuff in one hour. Now, please keep in mind, I can't teach you how to be successful after one hour. My ultimate goal today is this. I want to teach you the art of if you want to be a good swing trader, good day trader, whatever, or an options trader, but you have to see the facts. And the fact is this, I'm a great trader, not being cocky, this and that. I'm a 12 time world champion. I beat every school. Honestly, I would be a 25 time world champion. Half the people didn't even show up. And I actually had to go up against my employees for some of them because people didn't show up, but that does not make you money. So that's why I don't really like brag about it. Like some other people uh, go out there. I'm like, look at me, this and that. Oh, let me look at your, your trading reports. And it, listen, you know how you become a good trader? You have to see if other people that we've trained make money doing it. And that's how all of you guys are going to learn. I'm going to invite all of you. I want you to see the people that we trained because my goal is this. We're not just, you know, we're not in the education business. We're in the trading business. I need to find people that are logged in today that really want to learn how to trade and are willing to contribute in my trading room because it's not something you, it's not a, it's not a newsletter and like, oh, it's Fausto's picks and this and that. It's a lot more than that. It's a lot more than that. Um, now, I founded a company back in 1995. I'm actually one of the oldest schools in the industry. If you read any of the old books, I'm one of the original Souls Bandits, uh, which are the original day traders. Now, how I got into the trading business, a lot of people ask, because people always ask, they're like, Fausto, you're such a great trader. Why do you teach? Listen, I'm only as good of a trader as the people I surround myself with. So if you want to be, you know, for me to be good, I need to teach you guys how to do it. You know, because it's all about teamwork. It's about family. It's about working together. Okay. Seeing other ideas, sharing your ideas. It's not about here's, you know, a thousand hours of videos and pay me, oh, pay me $50,000 and go, go figure it out on your own. It's not how we do it here. And how I learned that is because before I was a successful trader, I was also a successful loser. And that's how I learned when be living here in New York. And learning and working for some of the biggest and best trading firms in the industry. And not only that, but that's why Cybertrain University is endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. Because they know what we teach works. 
okay? And they know you need to be educated. And that's really how I got started. Just like that great picture, that bunch of, I love this Forbes magazine right there, a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. That actually was a friend of mine right there when that picture got taken. Remember those big old monitors? Even then, you know what's so funny with, look at that. He's trading on one little stinking monitor. monitor. One little, I think that's a 15-inch monitor. If he can make money with a 15-inch monitor, how can you guys not make it with, you know, two? Or, shoot, I was talking to someone the other day at 12. I'm like, what are you, lady, what are you, what are you uh, landing the space shuttle? I mean, like, <laughs> but anyway, uh, that's basically what it means. Uh, well, Anthony, the Sos band, this is what we call, they called us day traders back in the, uh, back in the, uh, in the eighties and nineties. Um, it, it was a vehicle that we used to be called Sos and traders didn't like that. We had access to their private club. So they called us bandits. So that's where the word comes. There's a, there's a book from Harvey Halkin. Uh, one of my mentors, you could read it. You know, it's a great book. Uh, you actually can even read my book. I'm an author of a book of how to beat market makers at their own game. But anyway, getting back into it. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking to someone to join my family. Okay. Not my family on the left, my family on the right, because what I'm looking for is I'm looking to, to train people so we could trade together and make money together. But it all starts here. It all starts here to kind of give you an idea what this is all about, because everyone hears so many bad things, you know, like, Everybody's saying, oh, you're going to do this as gambling. That, you know what? It's, it's, not, it's worse than gambling. This, what we're doing right now, is worse. You know why? Because people go out there and do it themselves. You know, they like, some, especially now in today's times, you know, with the whole coronavirus, people are like, well, I need to make money. I'm the market. So I'm, look, we're up at 27,200 right now. We were just at 18,000. We went back 10,000 points. What did I miss? We I mean, before this whole coronavirus, we were almost at 30. We were going to 32. You know, but let me try it. Let me try it first. And let me see how it works. That's the dumbest advice that you could give anybody. Could you imagine me going out there and telling you, oh, you want to learn how to trade? Why don't you go try first? And then when, and then when you lose all your money, then you come back and I'll show you how to do what you did wrong. Listen, let's go out there and let me show you how we find stocks like IMRN. And by the way, this is in one lousy, stinking day. Stock goes from $4 to $30. Look at that for a second. When was the last time you ever seen a stock go from $4 to $30 in one day? How about this? We do it every week. Last week, we had a really good one. We had Kodak. Remember, could you hear about Kodak? How about Fran, F-R-A-N? They're, they're, they're there every day. The problem is, how do you get in and not get caught like everyone on, uh, well, the last one was Kodak, and the thing goes to 60, and now you're down at 18. How the hell that happened? You know how that happened? Because you're not trained and you weren't surrounded by the right guys how to do it. Because look at this one. You won. It's, it's another one, right? Look at this thing. 9.30, hold on, let me get my little pointer so you guys can watch. Here we go, there's my little red dot. Okay, look at this thing, 9.30 goes from 5 up to 20. And then, you know, basically this one, we're done right here. Flat line, and then here, at 2.30, boom, thing goes from 15 to 40. Like, give me a break. <laughs> give me a break. How do you find these fouls, though? How do you trade? Listen, if you follow me on YouTube, you follow me on Facebook, you follow me on Twitter, you see these orders. How do people do it? Listen, I'm not a genius. I was just trained how to play the game. Because us traders, we don't, you know, we don't buy at a five and sell at 20. We're buying it at 10, we're selling at 13. We're buying it at 15, we're selling at 17. Do you realize this? If you buy a stock, you buy a thousand shares. It moves 50 cents, not $15, 50 cents. It's all you need to make. 50 lousy little stinking cents. That's $500 a day. That's $100,000 a year salary. Guess what? You think that's easy? It's not. Because there's shakes, there's head fakes. There's a lot of things that you can, you remember the stock is moving in one minute. Stock could probably be moving $2. You probably got shaken out. You don't know what's called tradable and non-tradable. And that's what I want to cover.
because there are these great short squeezes that go up. And guess what? Whatever goes up comes down twice as fast because we can make money just as quickly. Now, before we get started, um, I'm going I'm to start teaching you about, I just want to get to know a little bit about everyone here. And I'm going to launch a poll and I want to know what kind of trader everybody is. So if you could tell me, are you guys a swing? We have stock traders, options, futures, Forex. Got a little quick poll right here. Just want to get to know a little bit about, about everyone. I'm going to share this poll with everybody. All right. All right, I'm going to end the poll. Looks like all of you guys have pretty much answered. That was pretty quick. By the way, we're going to do a couple of polls, so we get to get an idea and learn a little bit about everyone in here. All right, so we got, um, so it looks like we have a lot of stock traders, options, some futures. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to let you know, I'm a stock trader. I'm a day trader. I don't, um, I trade a little bit of options. I don't trade futures in Forex. Uh, futures, it's too damn risky. Forex, I mean, I don't know. It's not... Uh, uh, it was ne I never understood Forex. You know, you, you deal with the biggest banks in the world, so I'm not a fan of that, okay? So, um, but day trading is the easiest thing. And by the way, for all you four options traders out there, I'm just telling you right now, you want to be a good options trader, you damn well better be, be, a better be a better stock trader first because it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move. How in the hell do you know what option to do if you don't even know what stock's moving? Oh, I got this great strategy. It works out great. Okay, it's great. But which one are you going to play that on? It doesn't always work on Apple. It always doesn't work on, you know, Facebook. But it might work on a stock like Blue Apron that is up 177% in the big percentage gainers and losers. <gasps> Blue Apron's up 170. How, what? BMRA is up 5, 478%. Are you kidding me? Where, where? Maybe there is a good option on it. But sometimes you don't have to go out there and trade that way before you do this, just like swing trading. You know what? How do you know what to swing if you don't even know what's happening over the course of the day? So that, but to me, I like to sleep at night. And, you know, even though we'll trade a stock like this going up nicely during the day, they also come down crashing down and go from 28 down to 12 in one day. Look how fat, look how long it took to get there. Look how fast it took to come down. So that's basically trading. Um, U O uh, N E, same thing. Great winner, five dollars. Short squeeze up to forty, right back down to ten. C A R V, great little stock, went all the way up from four dollars up to twenty-two, back down to eight. So okay, so what is my strategy? My strategy is this: you need to know where the buyers and sellers are. It's as simple as that. If you don't know where the buyers and sellers are, you are gambling, okay? You are 100% gambling. How would you go out there and not know the most obvious, you know, tool in the toolbox? You need to know where these buyers and sellers are. And I know every single one of you agree with me. And if you don't agree with me, then I'm going to save you some time. Just log out of the room. Just log out because I'm not the right fit for you, okay? If you're looking for a newsletter, if you're looking to stick around to the end to win a new iPad, I'm not, the right, I'm not the right person for you. There's a lot of other people that will give you free stuff. I'm not looking to give away free stuff. I'm looking for you to buy your own stuff. You appreciate it more. And the way you do that is you got to know how to go out there and buy it. Uh, and say, hey, I got an iPad. Well, listen, I'm not, nothing against iPads. I'm just saying not, we're not looking to give away free iPads. If you, there are people that like these free contests. I'm not in the free contest business. I'm here to teach you how to go buy your own stuff. Appreciate what you buy. You know, going out there and buying that boat, going out there and, and buying your wife that, that Chanel Paga book that she would never probably buy, the five ten thousand dollars Paga book. You, you know, we do that. Not to say, hey, honey, look what I won. You know what I mean? Uh, that's not how you work. You got to know how to play the game. Listen, this job pays a lot of money. There's a reason why everybody loves this industry. But the only way you can learn being good in this industry is you got to learn not to be part of that 90% failure rate. So the thing is this, we don't trade off the news, we trade off volume, all right? And this is how we do it. 
So let's get right into it, okay? There are three ways of following buyers and sellers, but there's only one out of the three that is going to show you that. And let's start off with level one. Level one, basically what that means is where the buyers and sellers, uh, where the bid and offer is. You're looking at a stock, it just tells you, okay, the stock's trading at 5397. Uh, I could sell it, and I could buy it at 50, 5401. Okay, big deal. How does that help you? What does that actually mean? You know, what does that really mean? I don't know what that means. Okay, that just tells me where the price is. But how, who's buying it? Who's, who's, that, who's on that bid? Who is that 800 shares on the bid? Who's this 800 share seller on the off? Why is he selling 800? Why isn't he selling, you know, the stock trade of 52 million? Why isn't it a, a million shares or one? Where is that order? It's worthless. Back in the 90s, then there was something called level two came out. Now, level two was big in the 90s. And I know a lot of you get, oh, I got level two. Hey, we got, ooh, you got level two. Level two is worthless. It's outdated. They were going to get rid of it back in the late 90s. But you know what? It's got nice little glitter. It's moving. You know, it's worthless. It doesn't work in today's markets. So that's strike number two. Why? Because it doesn't show you all the bids and offers. That's why. Now, question. Let me do a poll. Do you have level three? Okay, let me do, um, uh, Anthony, it's better than nothing. Oh, no, there, there is something better than nothing. You're better off not trading. It's not better off than nothing, okay? Uh, and there's a reason because you're going to see what I'm talking about right now. How many of you here have level three? I'm doing a quick poll right now. Yes, no, not sure. If you're a student before you came here, please answer that as a no. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to end the poll. And you could see that a lot of you don't have it, which is okay. All right. So... Anthony, to answer your question and everyone else, and for, this, for the 80% of the people here that don't have it, what you're about to learn right now is probably going to be the most disturbing, most um, embarrassing, and will really piss you off that whoever even trained you, how did they not even talk about it? Listen, what, what I've, when I was introduced this, I literally fell off my chair. I'm like, first of all, I'm thinking about like, how does anyone even compete with you? Why would you not want this data? Okay. Because what I'm about to show you is about where 70% of where the algorithms are, the high frequency trades are, the dark pools, everything. That's why if you notice, it says NASDAQ book viewer. This is NASDAQ's exchange. You want a floor, you want to see it on the floor of the exchange? Guess what? You got it. Probably never even knew that. You got it right here, and I'm going to show you the value of it, and you're going to start seeing exactly where the buyers and sellers. So sit back, guys, and listen to me very carefully because I'm going to ask a lot of questions. And like I told you, what you're seeing right now, I am going to apply this in my trading room, which every one of you are going to be invited to come to. So listen, everyone can make a nice, pretty PowerPoint, but when you see it live, you're going to fall off your chair. You think this is good? Wait till you see what, what you're going to see when you come join the room. So let's look at, we're looking at Snapchat right here, okay? So let me tell you how to read it. And then hopefully, and then we'll make a little bit more sense as we start showing you some charts and everything else, okay? So on the left-hand side, these are the buyers. Buyers are looking to buy the stock. Sellers are looking to sell the stock. You have three columns. You have orders, meaning how many different people around the world are buying it, how many shares make up that order, and at what price. Now, whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. The same thing goes for the sell side. Whoever wants to sell the stock for the least amount of money, you're first on the list. 
whoever wants to sell it for the most amount of money is last on the list. So this is what they call a negotiated market. This is what I call a big fat chat room. Everybody is negotiating what they want to buy and sell it for. These are all the limit orders around the world that are trading Snapchat on the NASDAQ market. Sounds pretty cool. It's like, oh my God, I can see where, you know, Deutsche Bank is putting some bids and Goldman Sachs is. Well, you won't be able to see their names, but you will see their orders. Remember, they are buying stock what's on the street. This is called the street. You ever see the New York Stock Exchange, the floor? You see people running around? That, well, now it's electronic. It's not like that anymore. But now this is what you're basically seeing, all these orders. Uh, Scott, I didn't get to that question yet. I didn't even get to let's let's start, let's let's take kindergarten stuff and then we'll get into high school stuff. Okay. Now, how does this actually work? So, stocks go up, stocks go down. Stocks hit support levels, stocks hit resistance levels. How do we know how to find those support resistance levels? It's following the order. So here we're looking at a stock called IQ. Okay. And right at the open, you see how the stock started at 24.20 and it came down all the way down and it stopped right around 12.30 at exactly $23. Now, why out of every number out there, why did it pick 23? Why did it stop at 23.80? Why did it go back down to 22? Why 23? Now, don't tell me it's, you know, it's a, you know, a good luck number you know, uh, you know, Chinese New Year, whatever you want to call it, or, oh, it's a whole number. No, listen, it's nothing to do with that. It has to do about this 96,000 share buyer that make up 77 different orders around the whole world. That's right, 77 orders. It could be a guy buying 10,000, 200, you know, 50,000, but out of all those orders being aggregated, it makes up 96,000. Now look over here on, on, the, on, on the bid. You got 3,000 share sellers. You got five orders at, that make up 450 shares at 2318. I mean, you got orders at every single price, every penny. But the more significant order is right smack in the middle of $23. Now when you look at it, oh, now it makes sense. Maybe that's why it also bounced a little bit here around 11.15, you know? It maybe saw that guy, and then you can see I went there. And by knowing that, guess what? The stock went up. Um, so if a bid is at 96,000, what would be con uh, the continuation with the price not rise once it hits a big bid? Well, congratulations, you're getting there. There you go. That seemed difficult? Wow, fast learner. Now, let's look at a resistance level. It looks at DraftKings, okay? Stock goes from 38.50 and 9.30, goes all the way up until about 12.30 and stops at $42. Stays there for about an hour. Keeps good. You know, hits it, comes back down, hits it, come back down, hits it. Now, you could sit there and you could, you know, you could say, oh, that's a double top, a triple bottom. Uh, that's, uh, you know, you got uh, seven green candle bars with the five. I, I, do yourself a favor. Save your breath and save your brain cells, okay? There's only one reason why it's not breaking 42. It's because if you look over here on the sell orders, when you work your way down, you see all these hundreds and 200s and 13 shares and 24 shares. You, you know, you're looking what we call here an iceberg order of 55,000 shares made up of 49 different orders around the world at 55. Now, please keep in mind, and I want to listen to me carefully. This is not the Fausto newsletter. This is not the Fausto, the Cyber Trading University software, okay? We don't have software. We don't have newsletters, okay? This is a trading platform from NASDAQ. This is what NASDAQ wants you to look at. They don't want you to look at some stupid chart. They don't want you to look at indicator. They, you want to know where orders are? They want you to look at this. This is where the orders are. It's as simple as that. 
Now, I'm not trying to knock charts and indicates, whatever, but listen, what makes those, you don't want to be a lagger. You want to be a leader. And the only way you could have been a leader trading DraftKings is knowing that you were coming up to a 55,000 share order at $42. Because if you didn't get out at 42, guess what? Now you're down to 40, 50, and you just lost a buck 50 like that. For what reason? Because the Fibonacci told you was going up? Because uh, the MACD crossed with the 200 moving average? Come on, ladies and gentlemen, save your time, save your breath, save your brain cells. You got to have a game plan at all times. All right, a couple of questions come here. Uh, will you see the number of shares go down if the order is complex? We didn't get there yet, but yes, Anthony. And when that's something called time and sales, okay? Uh, Nergene says, uh, now that makes sense. Thank you, Fausto. Listen, I didn't even scratch the surface. Don't thank me yet. You know when you're going to thank me? When you come in my trading room and you see other traders doing what you didn't do, haven't been doing, and like, oh, now this makes sense. Now I know why. You know, I don't know how to take these losses. Now I know why, you know, uh, you, you got to understand something. When things go against you, you got to learn how to get out of positions. You know, I mean, that's what it's all about. Uh, now, <laughs> cha-ching, I like that one. So anyway, uh, let's look at Twitter. Okay, you guys ready to have a little fun here? Okay. So let's look at Twitter right here. Okay, now the question is this. I'm going to do a poll, okay? And my poll question is this. Is this stock going up or down? Let's say you guys answer this question. Um, China, I mean, listen, yes, they do, but we didn't get to that question. Absolutely, they do. And by the way, Rich, if you could just copy the questions, if you're going to answer them so everyone could see uh, the questions. Thanks a lot, Rich. That's a great way of doing it. All right, now question is, is it a trick question? I can't tell. <laughs> it's not a trick question. It's not a trick question. Okay? Not a trick question. Is this stock going up or going down? There's, there's the, there is the poll question up there. Just click on it and tell me what you think. You could say that again to Anthony. Duh. Yeah, it's going down. You know what's so funny? I don't know if you guys could see this. But four people said it was going up. How in the, and not only that, but half of you didn't even answer the question yet. If you can't answer this question, you better quit trading. I'm going to do you a favor. This is, there's nothing here that is given any indication that the stock's going up or you can't answer this question. Okay. So let me, uh, let me end that poll and let me share it so you guys could see it. I mean, that is just, I, I, I don't get it. I don't know where, you, where five people thought this stock was going up. I, I don't see it. Okay. Now, stock's at 31. And you're down to here at 30, 65. You're losing money, right? And you know, listen, the big thing that we teach you at Cybertrain University is something the opposite of what most people would teach you. We don't teach you how to make money. We teach you how to stop losing it. Okay? So... If, the, if, you, if everyone's making money, believe me, nobody needs education, right? The real reason is you need to know why you're losing money. So let's look at this example right here. Stock's trending down. When will it stop? When will the stock start going up? What do we need? Can everybody tell me that? What do we need? A 200 moving average? What do we need? A prayer from God? What? We need, we need the CEO to come on TV. What do we need? What do we really, really need? There's only one thing that we need. It's exactly right, everybody. We need buyers. We need buyers. Okay. Now, think of everything that you were taught. Do you see buyers on a chart? Do you see buyers on a chart? No. So what the hell do you need a chart for? What is a chart going to do to you? All it's doing is keeps telling you what, what, it's do, what it is doing. Not what, it, what, it, what, what um, it's, it's telling you what's happening in the past. It's not going to tell you what's going to happen in the future. You need buyers. You need buyers. There's, there's no indicator. There's no, no one out there. We need buy there's no other platform out there other than one. And the one thing it is, is this. We have to find out where is the next significant buyers are. 
and we work our way down, you'll notice that there is a 95,000 share buyer of 36 orders around the world at $30.63. Listen, there are buyers everywhere, 2,000, 3,000, 11,000. 95,000 is on the average of 20 times more orders than the average order out there. I would think that would be a good support level. I would probably even bet on it. I would probably even go out there and buy it at that price. While you guys are screaming and worrying about losing money or, you know, whatever you may, you're going to do, I think that's a buy because there are 36 people around, the, around there and I'm not going to question them that I'm smarter than them because if I am, I'm going to lose. Well, you thought it was going down. Twitter hit that support levels, hit that buyer. A couple of minutes, didn't want to break it. Boom, boom, stock right now is at 31. In a matter of what, 30 minutes later? If you bought the stock at 36.65, let's say 30, I'm going to use, I'm going to use basic math. If you bought it at $30.70 and you sold it at 31, you make yourself 30 cents on 1,000 shares. At 1,000 shares is $300. There's a $50,000, $60,000 salary right there. And you made it within 30 minutes. Where are you going to get that job? Now you know why people, why people want to get in the trading business. But it all starts by following the orders. Anthony says, sign me up. <laughs> Anthony, we didn't even scratch the surface yet. You think this is, this is, it gets even better than this. This is just level three. Wait till I show you something called level four. Okay. And this is only one book. There are five other books out there you could aggregate that you could see more orders. So let's do another poll. Let, let, let's try this again. Okay. Let's try this again. Is this stock going, uh, hold on. Why is this they're doing this to me? Uh, hold on. Stop sharing. Let's try this again. Is this stock going up or going down? Let's see if we can get this right. I'm telling you, some people got to quit trading. Really, I, 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 don't, I don't get this. Some people really, really have to quit trading. <laughs> I'll tell you in a second why. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end the poll because it's too painful for me. I'm going to share the results. We still got three people in here that think the stock is going down. How is this thing going even down? I don't even understand. It went from 35.50 to 35.95. The trend is up. How is this thing even going down? I, I don't get it. I really don't get it. Listen, no disrespect. Nobody can see who you are. I don't even know who you are. But if you said it was going up, um, unless you're trying to be cute and just use in reverse psychology, one thing, but I was being dead serious. What is the trend of the stock? And the trend is it's going up. Okay. Now, nothing goes up forever. Like what we said, what do we need for the stock to go down? When will this stock hit a ceiling or resistance levels guys? What do we need? Uh, Jay says, those people are playing with my emotions. Is, is that what it is, Jay? Then that's pretty cool. That's okay. All right. But there are three people out there that picked it. That just, it, but you know what? I don't know if that's really true because there are people out there that just question like, oh, this is going down, it's going up and just playing games. It, it's, and even if you knew the answer, you should answer it the way it's been asked. Okay. Because if you're not, if you, if you are playing games and that just, then believe me, you will not be part of my team. So. Anyway, stock's going up. So now we're going to go here to total view. All right. Now, we said we need sellers. We're going to look at the sell orders. We're going to work our way down. And you'll notice that there are 88 orders here at 96,000 shares at $36. So in theory, that is my exit. We're about 50 cents away from hitting a major, major seller. I mean, think about it. You really think 100 share seller is going to stop the stock from going higher? You think this 888 shares is going to stop it? You think this one share is going to stop it? Why would even guy waste his time? I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's on demo. Who knows? Maybe he's, or maybe he's just playing around, just practicing. 
but this is a real order. And that's not one order. That's 88 different orders around the world. And guess what? It did exactly what we said it was going to do. It went up, hit the resistance. You had several minutes to see that. You could, if you were long, you would have took a profit. Or if you, if you missed it on the long, you could have shorted it. And look where it went. It went from 36 down to 35.20. Not bad for a day's pay. I'll take that all day. All about following the money. Now, fellow traders, does that seem difficult at all? Does that, feel, does that seem complicated? Got a big fat no from Anthony. It's just reading it, right? Nah, it's not. So why do people make it things more complicated than what it is? I, I didn't even slap in these 50 indicators out there. Or th How many indicators are there? Thousands? I didn't even slap in a newsletter. I didn't even slap in, you know, the news. I'm just looking at orders. I'm just looking at orders. Well, what more do you need? Um, Muhammad says, you're a guru. Listen, I learn from gurus. Do you want, you want to learn from a guru too? You got you to gotta start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. But if you were able to just answer that question properly, like how 98% of you said it was gonna, uh, the stock was going to go up, and then now we saw the stock was going to go down by the sellers, guess what? I want you on my team. Because when we trade, there's no software, there's no platform out there that's going to say, hey, we're coming to a resistance. Hey, there's a big order here. You got to go, and you got to go hunting for them. And that's how we make money together. I'm looking to train people that can help me find these iceberg orders out there so we could all make money together. That's what trading's about. Uh, George says more indicators can be learned in, uh, in a lifetime because no one pops up, no one pops up every day. It's, and you know what? <laughs> when, when I'm done with you, you're going you're gonna to delete them all. Now, listen, they do work for swing trading and options trading. I'm not going to knock them. You know, I'm not the, you know, everybody's going to be like, but everyone's using the Faust. You don't. Well, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to prove it to you. Turn on CNBC. Put on, when you start, first of all, they have their, their studio on the New York Stock Exchange. Look at the floor of the exchange. Look at the monitors over there. And you tell me how many indicators you see. All right. I had a cocktail reception there. Eventually going to get rid of it. You'll probably have weddings and bar mitzvah there that soon. Beautiful place, by the way. Um, but they don't use this stuff. They just look at the orders. Oh, there you go. Here's a picture right now. Coincidental. I forgot. Look at this. This is all the floor of the exchange. Look at the floor. Look at that. I don't see any indicators. I don't see any charts. I see numbers. I see names, right? Everybody see that? This ain't a fake picture, like fake news. You know? Um, you would love to go on the floor. Well, guess what? We, we, um, once in a while, we, when we, uh, here at Cyber Trade University, we rent the floor of the exchange. We have a cocktail reception down there. Um, you know, we invite our students down there to get the feel of it. Also, we've done a tour of the Federal Reserve. We saw the $550 billion worth of gold down there. Uh, listen, if it's your industry, you know, it's, you don't have to always go to the Bahamas or the Caribbean to, 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 to relax. You know, if it's in your industry, you know, you go to these conferences, you want to see the facts out there too. But once again, it's all who you surround yourself with. All right, so let's talk about fake news. So one of you guys brought up earlier, like, how do you know these orders are not getting canceled? How do you know if these orders are really getting executed? So let's talk about this. Um, Greg says, I did a Fed tour at the high school. It was fabulous. I know. It is pretty cool, but they're very strict, too. They only allow, like, 40 people at a time uh, twice, twice, a, twice, a, twice a day. So pretty, pretty cool. Um, so anyway, let's look at the fake news, Okay. How many of you here are using time and sales? Anybody here using a time and sales window? No, this is not level four. This is not level four. Uh, this is level four right here. This is, you see this order right here? This guy's been here since 1030 this morning. You notice how the stock never wanted to break it? You see how it keeps testing it? Because there's an 82,000 share buyer out there. You see how the stock stopped right here and never, and never broke it? Because there was, about, there was a 30,000 and a 16,000. Believe me, you didn't, I didn't even scratch the surface yet. 
This is just, this is like baby stuff. Okay. Trust me. There's so much more you guys need to see. Oh, Renee, that's right. You were, you were there when we had the, uh, the cocktail reception and we did the tour of the, uh, the, uh, the tour of the federal reserve. So Renee, you can, I don't know if, uh, Rich, could you copy and paste that and let everybody know? That was great. That was an awesome time. But we'll copy that and paste it in there. All right, anyway, let's talk about this, okay? So, yeah, book map is one of them that we use. Absolutely. Uh, what do I got here? I just want to show you what Renee wrote. Just copy and paste it. This is from Renee. There you go. Okay. Rich got that. Okay. So where is support levels on Rite Aid? Can everybody tell me? Let's look at this. Where support, where would you think support level is? Let's see how all of you answer this question. All right. looks like everybody. Okay. looks like everyone's saying the same thing. Support would be on the buy side. And if you all said right here, which is correct, there's 86,000 shares buyers at 55 different orders out there at 15 bucks. So in theory, absolutely, there's your support levels, okay? Now, look what happened here. It went down to $14. Whatever happened to that buyer out there at, you know, 80, 86,000 share buyer at 15. Well, if you look over here on the right, the time in sales, you'll notice green, red, red, red. These are all, red means that their transactions going off on the bid. That buyer got executed. Do you know that someone would actually could sell it, those shares to that person? You know, that could happen. And you know what? You ever go out there and you ever notice, like, I don't know if it's ever happened to you, uh, to you people, but you ever go out there and, like, as soon as you buy the stock and you throw with support levels, uh, the thing goes down, and then, you know, as soon as you sell it, like, okay, I'm done, I'm out, and the thing goes up. Has ever happened to anybody? As soon as you buy it, it goes down. As soon as you sell it, it goes up all the time or too often. Okay, sure does. All the time. Okay, well, guess what? You know what? It's not that they're watching you because that's what people think. The light. Some people think they're watching me or it's bad luck. No. You know what the problem is? You're not watching them. That is your problem. If you watch them and saw that order out there and knowing, because every damn indicator out there would tell you this is a support level. Uh, this is going to bounce here at 15. And you know what? Even the order even showed it that it would, would, will, will confirm that. But the time in sales tells you a different story. That somebody went out there and executed. Oh, you want to buy 86? Sold. Like, oh my God, guy just bought that many. Is that even possible that someone just bought over a million dollars worth of stock? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It happens every minute, every second of the day. Okay. And how would you know that? You look at the time in sales. Couple of cool questions here. Um, you sure they are not watching me? <laughs> Listen, like I said, you're not watching them. That's what it is. Uh, so you're saying I don't need my tinfoil hat, Scott? No, I think you got. I think you could retire that now. I think you could basically retire your tinfoil hat. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so what do we got? Okay, we got to, we're almost out of time here. So we want to really kind of get up to it. So listen, everything that I'm showing you here, I'm going to invite all of you to come into my trading room and see it live, okay? So the big thing is this. We practice what we preach, all right? Listen, I'm not going to go out there and, and say, hey, Fausto, let me see your reports. What the hell does that do for you anyway? Oh, look at it. Like, how many of you get emails or on YouTube and guys said, hey, I made, you know, uh, uh, look, I made $24,000 today or, hey, I mean, first of all, to me, that's an ego, okay, all the time, right? Don't you want to tell these people to shut up, right? It's so annoying. So, you know, the, the way I look at it this way, okay, I know you make money and that's even if it's even true because 
some of these people trade on two different platforms and then they'll trade on one and then they'll show you the other one that they're making it. Some of them have controls of their platforms. Listen, I've been doing this 25 years. I, I went up against these guys. I even busted them in the middle of their trades. Okay. When I did these trading competitions, you know, and I called them out on it cause I recorded it. You know what I mean? So you know what? And even if it is real, okay, good for them, but that doesn't make me money. You know what makes you money? Could you teach me how to do it? Some of you, listen, I don't care. You made $20,000 or 5,000 or 1500. I just want to make, you know, I just want, I'm in a coronavirus. I'm not working. I like the idea of trading. Could you teach me how to make just a day's pay? And, the, and that's what you guys need to see. I'm going to invite every one of you to come in and see that fact. And, and not only that, and, and you know what? The, and don't, don't take this the wrong way. It might not be for you. You know, you might consider doing this to get yourself in trouble. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a, a sad story. I spoke to a gentleman yesterday, 78-year-old man. Um, his wife died 20 years ago from cancer. And uh, he worked at, uh, he worked at a, a big a military, comp military company. And uh, I'm not going to mention his name from Lock Lockheed Market. You know, oops, somebody's calling me. From Lock Lock Lockheed Market. And um, very smart guy, got his marbles, everything's fine. So he's in the trading room. All these people call me right now. He's in the trading room and, you know, he wants to do it, this and that and everything. And as I'm talking to him, he's taking a few courses, a couple of people. He's really trying to make money. He's, 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 he's overextended on his credit card. He's really in the shitter, all right? You know what I told? He goes, I want to do this. He goes, I, 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 I could see it. My God, Fausto, this is so simple. You know what I told him? I'm not training you. You actually, you know what? You're better off dealing with your, 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 your debt, deal with your headache that you got right now. Right now, what you're trying to do, you're going to Vegas and trying to make it back over the weekend. That's not the type of trader I want. And I, and I can't teach you how to do it, you know? So please keep in mind, it's not uh, Lockheed Martin. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Lockheed Martin. Wait, see, what did I say? Something else? Um, it, you know, it's, it's a sad story, but the thing is this. Trading, you know, you, you got to be well-funded. Um, you have to be, you know, uh, not sh pressured that you have to do this. You got to want to do it, and you got and you got to be able to surround yourself with good people that know how to do it. If you're not ready to do it, you shouldn't do it at all. Um, but if you want to find out the truth about it, you need to do it the right way. But going out there and buying these crazy indicators and like, look, I mean, what the hell is easier to read? Number one or number two? It's crazy. It's really crazy. You can't go, you know, you can't go out there and start mixing and match. You know, oh, this guy just sold me an indicator for 50 bucks a month. It's great. That's a waste of $50. It's a complete waste. Oh, but you, you know, your training costs several thousand. You know what? It's a steal. If, you see, if it's paying for itself, it's part of doing business. If you can't afford to invest in your business, you should not be trading, okay? So listen, forget about that technical analysis paralysis stuff. Let's follow the money. Let's see if other traders are doing it and see if you could do it also. But I'm gonna tell you this, everybody. Every single one of you need a mentor. And not only do you need a mentor, you need to learn from a, a bunch of different people. I have people come all the time and they're like, you know what? I finally, uh, you know, I took this course. I took that one. Now I finally found somebody. It might take a couple of people to realize it, but don't go out there and do it on your own. You end up blowing up your account. Trading is an 80% failure rate. 99% of people are trading without education. Is that the guy you want to trade your money? Well, with that, that just makes a bunch of hypocrites. Don't go out there and make that mistake. But you got to try a little bit of everything. And even if you come back and says, but Fausto, I do Forex. You know what? Are you making the six figures doing it? Oh, but I trade, I, I trade, I love futures. It's so, are you making the six figures doing it a year? No, then you're wasting your time. You're literally wasting your time. If you're not making money within 30 to 60 days, you're wasting your time. I always like to use the metaphor this way. If you go to a doctor and he puts you on a medication, and you're still not doing better or doing worse, you better find a new doctor. You know? I mean, that's easy, but he was such a nice guy. 
you know, he, he looked so nice on TV and the commercial and it was a beautiful, better find another doctor. You know, I mean, that's what it comes down to. So listen, trading is a great job. It really is. You could spend more time with your family, which if you're probably not doing it now with the coronavirus, but you know what, how many of us will like to just, you know, take care of our grandkids, um, go out there and pay for their schools or, you know, just, we work our asses off our whole lives, you know, and now we're at an age that we want to get back. You know what I mean? We don't want people to suffer the way we, we work so hard to do it. I mean, my dad worked so hard for his whole life. You know, my mom did for a better life. And you know what? They did a pretty damn good job. You know, it's okay that I did better than my parents because that's what they want. They don't want me to go backwards. They want me to go forwards. That's how generations get better and better. Um, and trading is definitely <laughs> the industry to be in. And then you get to enjoy life. You get to relax. You get to have fun. I mean, listen, you could do this anywhere in the world. You could do this in your basement. You could do this in a hotel room. You could do it on your boat. You could do it in the mountains. As long as you got internet, you're fine. Okay. Don't be held hostage. You know, worrying about some $1,200 stimulus package, you know, and, and, and like Social Security, like, honestly, you really think Social Security is going to be there? You really, if you're depending on Social Security, you're, you know, you got problems. Especially if you live here in New York, you can't even afford to go out to dinner on, 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 a, on, a, on a, a Social Security check, more or less. Now, the thing is this, Cybertrain University, you know, has been endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry, hands down, and we could show it to you. Okay, Tastyworks, eSignal, Schwab, TradeStation, Thinkorswim, Ninja Trader, NASDAQ. You know, if it's good for them, it should be good for you. These people do credit checks on us, background checks on my employees. You think they're going to endorse somebody to come and do speaking to their, present, uh, to, to their audience if we're teaching people how to lose money? Which, by the way, just one little advice I want to get, uh, give everybody here. If you don't move forward, let's say you're dealing with someone. Do yourself a favor. If they are not endorsed by more than two or three different brokerage firms, you better get away from those people. Believe me, brokerage firms are looking for mentors. If, they, if they're not doing work with them, then you shouldn't do business with them. Hands down. Okay? Very, very important. Now, this is what we're going to do, everybody. Remember I told you about that trading room? Okay. Well, I started the first one over 25 years ago. And you are now going to get a chance, an opportunity to come into the original trading room, the original one. Now, I want you to come in the room, not to trade. I want you just to see if we make money doing this. See, a lot of people think that nobody makes money doing this. Well, you know what? Don't judge us on our winners. You know what your biggest problem is? You got, it's, it's, you're taking losses. We don't teach people how to make money. We teach them how to stop losing it. So when you come into the trading room, Watch and see if other people make money that we train. Look at the trading. You ever been on a floor of the exchange? Now you're going to be able to see it. See what it's like, the camaraderie, the excitement. Stocks up two, three, four hundred percent on a day. People are like, I've never been in a stock like that. I heard of it. It's like a unicorn. I've never seen one. Well, guess what? Now you're going to have to see, you're going to see a whole posse of unicorns, okay? Just by being here in the trading room. And this is all I ask. All I ask is this $9. Nine lousy stinking dollars. This is basically an application fee for you to give you access to the room so we know exactly who you are, okay? Because as of right now, I don't know if you're a competitor, if you're a heckler, uh, if you're looking to steal our ideas, or you know, whoever you are. This is just a free webinar. We let you in there. We showed you the facts, you know, and obviously you can see nobody could chat to everybody, um, but here's your opportunity. You want to see the facts? $9. And guess what? This is what you're going to get. Um, you got the link right up there. Rich put the link. You're going to get access to seven days in our live trading room, three daily market meetings, a morning and afternoon watch list. This is the best part. You can actually talk to somebody on the phone. I lose money on that. You ever heard of the $15 an hour? How am I going to make it with $9? Listen, I don't need the $9. Trust me. If I, if I was needing $9, believe me, you better run far as you can. That $9 is just an application fee to let us know if, if you're real or not. Because once you're in a trading room, then we'll discuss and say, hey, is this worth it to you? 
Did you see us make two, 3,000 today each? Well, if you want to do it right, we'll do it right. But before you even get there, let's start with the $9, okay? And I'm going to give you hundreds of hours of recordings and a premium workshop of day trading course. I mean, all that for $9. As a bonus, I'm going to talk to you. That's right. Me, the owner, I'm going to talk to you because you know what? To move forward, I want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself involved in. So I'm going to give you a personal coaching class. So for the first 20 people that register right now, by next week, after you spend about two, three days in the room, maybe Thursday, Friday, when, you're, when, you're, when your trial is over, we'll, we'll, we'll get it. But if you can't get it with me, because um, I only have so many hours to speak, um, you'll be able to talk to at least talk to one, uh, one instructor. But register right now. Click on that link that's on the screen and get registered. Let me get you in the trading room and let's go from there. Now, a couple of questions coming across here. Uh, when something is a free, it's usually free. I call it free. Well, listen, you're right, George. Listen, that's all it's worth. Nobody works for free. Listen, if anybody offers you anything for free, it's pretty much it's all it's worth, okay? But the $9 gives you an understand, lets us understand that you're a real person. And you know what? You're making, you're making a little bit of investment to kind of, to, to engage you into the agreement. And not only that, but the thing is this. After a week, if you think it's not for you, listen, I'll give you $9 back. I don't, I don't need the $9, okay? I need to train people that want to make six figures, okay? I'm looking for people that have a passion that want to make money, that love the stock market, that just can't figure it out, spent money with other schools, find out they all suck, you know, or they're just trying to hit you up and upsell me. You're trying to find that right mentor. And guess what? You'll find them by paying that $9. All right? All right. Uh, a couple of shout outs. Uh, one of you just registered. Let me just go see what we got over here. I got my phone right here just as quickly. Uh, oh, wow. Yep. Definitely. Guys, listen, who is this right here? Mike, uh, Mike Chadwick uh, from Texas, Liberty, Texas. Okay. So listen, guys, very important. There's a questionnaire that you have to fill out when you register. We need to know a little bit about you. The better you answer that, the better your chances are going to be able to get us on the phone and the better chances you're going to be able that we can help you. So you got to fill out that questionnaire. Uh, it's only like five, six questions. Let us know who your broker is, how much you have. The be, you know, think of us going to a doctor's office. Um, you know, uh, when you're going out there and they want to know a little bit about you, do you have cancer? Do you not have cancer? Do you, do you have any heart condition? Listen, same type of thing. Because it helps us to know exactly, it, you know, how to diagnose your trading style. So I'm just going to read a couple of people off here. Uh, who else we got here? Uh, Anthony. Oh, there you are. Anthony S. Yes. Is that you from North Carolina? Just got your registration. Chatting away, brother. You're going to have, you're going to have a great time. Uh, who else we got here? Najin. Oh, is that, we, is that you from West Bloomfield? Yeah, I got your registration. Let's hope I didn't mangle your name. <laughs> Muhammad, I just got your registration. There you go. From Boca Raton, Florida. Beautiful neighbor. I go there all the time. Shame the weather is killing us. Orlando, Florida. Fran uh, Francesco D'Angelo. Paisan, like me. All right. There you go. Uh, all right, a bunch of people coming in. George from Beirut. All right. Out of the country. All right, a couple of questions coming across here. Um, if I buy your book from Amazon, will you sign it for me? Uh, Anthony, of course I will sign it for you. I mean, if you send it to me, I'll send it back to you. We actually sold out of books. We were actually would sell it on our end. Now that book, let me just tell you, it's, it's, a, it's a beginner book. It's not an advanced book. It's, it's a fast read. You're probably going to read about two or three times. If you're a good reader, you're probably finished in two and a half hours. It'll let you know exactly what's going on in the market and how to trade it. It's a little outdated. I'll be honest with you, but it's a great book. I am going to be coming out with a second edition. I just don't have the time to write a book. It's like, to me, honestly, I don't make any money writing a book. I really don't have, I was forced to write that book, okay? Because everybody says, you got to be an author. It says, okay. So Wiley, one of the biggest publishing companies in the industry, uh, needed a day trading book. So it's not self-published. And they uh, went out there and did that for me. 
Uh, all right. Uh, any other questions? I searched the secrets since the nineties and level one and, and heard of Fausto explain level two. I jumped the, and screamed. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot, George. That was great. I love that one. Uh, all right. You hear that? I don't know if you guys hear that binging in the back. Looks like a lot more people are registering. Any other last minute questions, guys? We got about another minute. I got to get ready for the afternoon meeting with my traders. Uh, Carl from Littletown, Colorado, just got your name. All right. Good, good. I see a lot of people are filling it out, filling out the registration here. Good, 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 good. Anthony, I just got yours. Okay, you took, uh, you took a couple of classes with stock lock trading. All right, good. Um, Muhammad, you took uh, some education from VectorVest. Okay, you got TD, TD Ameritrade. Well, just to let you know, um, if you have an account with Thinkorswim at TD, I've been doing education with them for years. They, I know they have a lot of videos on, on that I've done with the founder of, of Thinkorswim. So that's also big. All right, uh, your program is good for only day trading. No, Raymond. It's not just good for day trading. We do do swing trading and we do a little options trading. But to be a good swing trader, you have to learn how to day trade first. Okay. So um, everybody wants to know the concept. They, 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 what happens, a lot of people just like the concept of day trading uh, because it's just like you make your days pay. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You know, people that what's scalping, it sounds pretty scary. It's really not that complicated. Uh, it's, it's actually the easiest type of trading out there. You just got to have the right person to train you how to do it. All right. Another question. I've joined and I'm in a training room. I could not understand uh, the screen you're running is too fast. Okay. Uh, if the screen is too, listen, there are different levels of traders. We got beginners, intermediates, and advanced. So we do bounce around. Um, we had an issue this week due to a hurricane. So we're trying to, you know, this is probably one of the most challenging uh, weeks that we've done, but you know what? We're going to be up and running, you know, hundred percent. I think like 70% uh, of our staff is basically has no power. So, you know, if you want us to extend it a couple of more days that you missed, it's more than happy to. Okay. There's a, there's a lot of George, there's a lot of big difference in levels and stocks. We call them from category one to category five. Some move faster than others. The faster they are, the faster the money you can make, the faster you can lose it. But to get to that category five, meaning you're a guy that's looking to make a thousand to 2000 a day, you got to get through category one first and try to just learn how to make 100, 200 a day. So there are different levels, how you work your way up. And we actually give you, um, uh, when you're a student, we do classes on giving you journals, reviewing your journals. It's a lot of handholding. And remember, my whole thing is the fast I could teach you how to make money, the fast I'm going to make money with you. That's what it's all about. All right, guys. So uh, listen, I got to get ready to go. Um, first of all, it was great meeting you. And Renee, thanks for coming back. Um, you know, all the students here at Cybertrain University, uh, I'd like to thank all of you for being here. I hope you guys learned a lot and hopefully enough not to be dangerous, let's say. But if you like what you hear, what do you got to lose? It's nine lousy dollars. I'll give you money back. See what the real truth is. I know a lot of people are very skeptical. They're scared. People bash it. Why would they bash it? Why would, they, you know, why would I go out there and bash Forex? Why would I go out there and bash? I've tried it. I've looked at it. I just, living in New York, this is what we do. But you know what? If you're not making money what you're doing, maybe you weren't trained the, with the right person. Maybe you didn't see the real facts out there. But if you want to get into the real trading room, the original one that started, you want to meet the original Souls Bandit, here's your opportunity to do it. So don't miss this opportunity. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it. Look forward to teaching all of you. Now, remember, before we go, every single one that registered, you cannot access the trading room without talking to an education advisor. They want to do it. They have to do a walkthrough with you so they can explain to you what videos are out there and what you're going to see. Because I'm warning you, if we allow you to just jump in there, you're going to be like, what the hell is it? You're going to be so lost and confused. We want to show you how thorough we are, how specific, and how great our customer service is. Okay. And I know people freak out about that. They're like, oh my God, I never spoke to anybody that even knows what they're talking about. They just want to hit me for $150, $300 maintenance fee every month, you know, and send me the newsletter. I'm telling you, well, this is why we do it. But, but the reason why we also do that, because we want to make sure that, you know, what you get yourself involved in. We got a five-star Google rating. I like to keep it. 
We have a, um, we're ranked, we have, we're endorsed by, you know, more brokerage firms in the industry. We like to keep that. If it's not for you, we'll tell you the facts. And you know what? It's not the worst thing in the world. So go out there, take that $9 and try it out. Thanks everybody. Appreciate it. And uh, look forward to hopefully everybody's getting ready to listen to their traders. And if you didn't register, no hard feelings. I'm not going to get upset. Maybe it's not ready yet. Do your homework and we'll see you back for the next one. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.